Hello, I'm Stacy Charles. I'm the counselor at Mercer County Elementary School. Um, I'm coming to you today to talk about thinking positive and being positive with your children at home. Um, I know right now we're, um, we're all unsure about what to do and how to do things. And I know you're overwhelmed with Titan Learning Day packets. And so I just think that right now we need to be just as positive as we can be with our kids and, and make sure that they're remaining positive and happy during this time. Um, our children look to adults for guidance and uh, during stressful events. And I know that a lot of your children have probably had lots of questions and um, wanted to talk to you about maybe some of their fears or their worry or their anxiety. And so um, if you can just be a listening ear to them, if you can listen to them, talk to them. And um, I brought some things today that um, I wanna talk to you about, some things that I think will um, foster some positivity in your, in your uh, home and with your children. I find that at school as well. Um, I love hugs. I know probably a lot of your kids have told you that. Um, I'm, I'm having withdrawal right now because I can't, I can't hug, I can't handshake, I can't pat on the back. And so the social distancing has been very hard for me, but I'm trying to do my very best with that and stay six feet away and, um, and model that for my kids at home as well. So I think the more you're positive in your life, the more you smile, the more you look for um, happy things and positive things, the more your kids are gonna feed off of that. Um, and so I brought some things today where you can model some flexibility, um, some problem solving, being creative on how you can be positive with your kids at home and keep them happy. I know, um, I just was having a conversation about how we're all in the same, I've got two children at home right now and we're all in a in tight quarters and we're all getting on each other's nerves and I understand that and I know that that's difficult, but um, there's lots of things that you can do to get those kids um, being creative, doing some things to keep them uh, busy but happy and also positive as well. And I think it'll help you as well. So do do some things for me. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to listen to your child. I want you to affirm what they're feeling and what they're thinking. Um, sometimes kids just need an adult to listen to them, just to sit down and listen to them, talk to them. Be, um, be as honest as you can be, but you want to talk to them on their level. So you wanna make sure that you're not telling them too much um, but you're telling them enough that you're uh, affirming the way that they feel and, and what they're thinking. Keep a schedule. I think the more that you can keep a schedule, the better that will be for your child. I've heard of a lot of parents that are trying to follow the school schedule, get their child up early, feed them breakfast, go ahead and get their work started, um, give them a recess, maybe outdoor activity or indoor activity, limiting the social media or limiting the tablet or the television. Uh, that's always good as well, the screen time as we call it. And then encouraging mindfulness with your child. You've heard probably a lot about mindfulness. You may not know what mindfulness is, but that's just allowing your child to de-stress. Um, that could be calming strategies, deep breathing. There's all kinds of videos on Facebook, on YouTube that you can look up for mindfulness. Um, there's an Elmo, um, Sesame Street, lots of different things where they can practice mindful, mindfulness at home. And then I just brought some things that I thought um, that we like to do in my home, um, not necessarily that your child may like, but um, I wanted to, to kind of go over some of these things where we can be creative and we can do some creative things, but be positive and also encourage our children to get off those tablets, get away from those screens, get away from those televisions and actually use their creativity or use their mind in different ways. Um, the first thing I like to do is FaceTime family members or friends. Um, that's something that we've done a lot because we're not able to see relatives right now. We're not able to see friends and visit. And so we've been doing a lot of FaceTiming with our, with our friends and our relatives. And then playing games. I brought Jenga. We love Jenga. It gets a little competitive in my home, but we love Jenga. We've got Skip Bow and Face 10. Uno is one of my favorites. Um, we have actually started a game night at my house. So we have a game night during the week, um, sometimes two and three times a week now that we're home together. But that's something that I hope to continue. After all this is over, I wanna continue a game night. So that's something that maybe you can do. If you don't want to sit down and play the game with your children or you don't have the time, let them play it together. Uno's a very, um, very quick, easy game to learn. Uh, teach them how to play and then let them play it. And then um, another thing is to go on a walk. 
uh, get some exercise. Uh, these sunny days help. I know sometimes the dreary days are a little harder, but getting those children out and getting them some exercise um, I know that right now they're not in PE and they're not getting their physical activity through recess, but if you can continue that at home, that's always good. And what, what, sunshine always helps a child, right? So a sunny day and good weather is going to make us all hopefully happy. And then uh, another thing is teaching self-help skills. One thing that I've taught, uh, I've been working with my daughter on at home because we have more time now is baking. So I've been, um, and cooking, so I've been giving her the opportunity to cook one meal one night a week. So teach your child some self-help skills that are on their level. Um, taking out the garbage, organizing, um, cleaning their room, um, some things that they can do at their level, but make sure that it's appropriate, developmentally appropriate for their age. And then educational podcasts. There's all kinds of virtual tours you can be doing with your children right now, zoos, muse children's museums, um, national parks. You can get them online. I know they're in front of a screen, but um, they're educational. So you may want to check that out. Making cards or writing letters, I brought these. These are some um, cards that I'm going to be doing for our staff. So I'm going to be sending these out for our teacher to our teachers and staff just to hopefully brighten their day, let them know that someone's thinking about them, and tell them to just keep on keeping on, and hopefully it'll bring a smile to their face. And then treasure hunts, uh, scavenger hunts, those are always fun. Five, ten items that you can you know, hide around the house before the children get up um, in the morning and um, have them look for those or go outside and do those. So those are just all things that um, children can use their creativity. They can be positive. It'll help them to be happy and pass the time uh, a little more quickly for you too. So hopefully this has been helpful. Feel free to email me if you'd like to reach out to me. I'm on the Mercer uh, website under Mercer County Elementary School. I'd be happy to uh, help you with any of this or um, just talk to you if you've got any questions as well. Thank you so much.